Aloha, Kakayaka. Good morning and welcome to our 2023 Moanalua Middle School Spelling Bee. Thank you, students, for participating in this event. Today, we have 51 students representing each of our five teams. The top two winners of today's Spelling Bee will represent our school in the Central District Spelling Bee that will take place early next year. We have three judges. Our first judge is Lani Arakaki. Our second judge is uh, Julie. Oh, Julie? Yeah, Lani Arakaki and Julie Mew. Oh, Lehua. Okay, oh, okay, Lehua. Sorry about that. And our third judge is Lynn Waihe'e our um, president of Read to Me. Thank you judges for giving your time, we really appreciate it. Their role is to uphold the rules and determine whether or not words are spelled correctly. They are in complete control of the competition and their decision is final on all questions. Thank you very much, judges, for helping us today. Okay, and Renee Villa will serve as our pronouncer today. The pronouncer strives to pronounce words according to the dictator, dic, critical markings in Scripps National Spelling Bee Word List because seeing the pronouncer's lips, lip movements may be critical in preventing misunderstandings or misspellings, the pronouncer will face the speller when pronouncing the word. Spellers, it is also very important that you face the judges and speak into the microphone so they can be sure you heard the word correctly and they can clearly hear you. So again, you're going to face the judges. You're going to feel free to move, right? How Mr. Arakaki showed you, you can move this up and down. OK? OK, spellers. This is how our spelling bee will work. It will be conducted in rounds. Each speller remaining in the spelling bee at the start of a round will be asked to spell one word per round. When you receive your word, You'll be asked to spell, when you receive your word and you're ready to spell it, again, please face the judges so they may see your lip movement and hear you clearly. You are to pronounce the word for the judges, spell it, then pronounce the word again. For example, if my word is dog, I will turn towards the judges and say dog, D O. G dog. Please make an effort to utter each letter distinctly and with sufficient volume so the judges can understand you. If you need to, you may restart the spelling of your word, but you may not change any of the letters or the order of your letters. So take your time because once you say a letter, you cannot change it, okay? As a speller, you may ask the pronouncer, Mrs. Villa, to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, provide the language of origin, and or provide an alternate pronunciation or pronunciations. Again, so you, you, can, you can talk to her, okay? Again, you can say the word again. You can ask her to define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, provide the language of origin, and or provide an alternate pronunciation or pronunciations. If you misspell your assigned word, you will hear a bell ding. After spelling your word, whether correctly or incorrectly, please, you're gonna line up and stand, right? 
and students who are eliminated for an incorrectly spelled word will be released at the same time at the end of the round. Okay? Remember, the, the one thing that's really important, you guys, is you know there's going to be somebody up here speaking, and we really want to um, respect that. So that's why when a person is speaking and a person is spelling, as much as possible, we don't want any movement. Does that make sense? Yeah? And you guys are doing an excellent job. I'm really, really proud of you folks. Good job. Um, now that we've covered all of the rules, let's let's begin. But before we do that, does anybody have any questions? Feel free to cl yes. Uh, whenever a word has hyphens, the answer is a hyphen. No. No. Okay. Did you guys hear that question? If there is a hyphen in the word, do you have to say the hyphen? And the answer is no. Yes. Number thirty. Is that the same with accents? Accents, I mean accent marks? No. No. What counts is the letters, the, the correct order of letters, correct letters and correct order of letters. Okay, so she's asking for accents. Like, you know how in Hawaiian they have the okina and the kahako? So we're not asking for accents. The, like Mrs. Villa said, it's the order of the letters and the letter you speak out. Okay, I saw another hand there. Thank you. Yes? I was going to ask if students have a right to distinguish between Oh, if you have to distinguish between a capital and a lowercase? Yes. No. No, you don't have to. You don't have to, again, you don't have to distinguish between capital and lowercase. It's the letter that you say. Yes. No, you don't. You do not have to pronounce a space. Yes. Are they required to take their mask off when they spell the word? Yeah, you told them to lower yeah. it. Yeah, you need to lower it. Thank you. Anybody else have any questions? Awesome questions. Thank you for speaking up. Appreciate it. Okay. So again, you can ask for an alternate pronunciation or pronunciations. Okay, ready? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, our phones. Okay. Okay, let's start. So row number. Row number one, go ahead, stand up. Ready? Okay. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. So I'm going to give you the word, the part of speech, and the definition. Okay. The word is bruise. Part of speech, noun, definition, and injury especially when produced by a blow or collision that does not break the surface it injures. Bruise, B-R-U-I-S-E, bruise. Exciting. Exciting. E X C I T I N G, exciting. Actually, actually, A C T U A L L Y, actually.
This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Balm. Part of speech, noun. Definition, a healing ointment. Balm. B-A-L-M. Balm. Judges, I'm going to number 120. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Purchase, part of speech, noun. Definition, something obtained for a price in money or its equivalent. <laughs> Purchase, P-U-R-C-H-A-S-E. Purchase. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Orca, part of speech noun, definition, a relatively small toothed whale that is black above with white underparts and white oval shaped patches behind the eyes. Orca, O R C A. Orca. Judges, I'm moving to 123. Python. Python. P Y T H O N. Python. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, T-O-M-O-R-O-W. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Squinched, part of speech, verb. Definition, contorted as the face as a signal or as an involuntary sign of pain. Squinched. S-Q-U-I-N-C-H. Squinch. Ready? Torment. Uh, torment. T O R M E N T. Torment. Arrested. Arrested. A R R E S T E D. Pangs. Uh, could you repeat the word again, please? Pangs. Is there any alternate definitions? No alternate pronunciations. Uh, P E, I mean, ah, oh, dang it. P A N E S. Pangs. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Wrestle, part of speech, verb, definition, to contend by grappling with and striving to trip or throw down an opponent. Wrestle, W-R-E-S-T-L-E, -E. wrestle.
evaded. Evaded. E V A D E D. Evaded. Rituals. Rituals. R I T U A L S. Rituals. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Embrace, part of speech, verb, definition, to clasp in the arms, usually as a gesture of affection, to hug. Embrace, E-M-B-R-A-C-E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Ceiling, part of speech noun, definition, the overhead inside lining of a room. Uh, C-E-I-L-I-N-G, ceiling. Innocent. Innocent, I-N-N-O-C-E-N-T, innocent. Container. Container. C O N T A I N E R. Container. Overtly. Can you give me the definition of the word, please? Publicly, openly, manifestly. Overtly, O V E R T L Y, overtly. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Oftentimes, part of speech, adverb, definition, not seldom, frequently. Oftentimes. O-F-T-E-N-T-I-M-E-S, oftentimes. Economy. Economy. E-C-O-N-O-M-Y, economy. Reservation. Reservation. R E S E R V A T I O N. Reservation. Benefited. Benefited. B E N E F I T E D. Benefited. Temperature. Temperature. T E M P A R A T U R E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Peevish. Part of speech, adjective. Definition, marked by ill temper as actions or words. Peevish. S 
Say the word. Peevish. P E E V I S H. Can you spell it again, please? Sorry. Can't hear. Uh, P E E V I S H. Chicago. May you repeat the word? Chicago. S H A G O. Chicago. Door Jam. Door Jam. D O O R J A B. Door Jam. Flybys. Flybys. <coughs> Sorry. F L Y B Y S. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Andean. Part of speech, adjective, definition of relating to or characteristic of a mountain system of South America. Can you repeat the word, please? Andean. So say it, spell it again. Speak into the mic. A N D I A N. This word has a homonym and could be confused with another word. Pop it. Part of speech noun. Definition, little one, deer, used in Britain. Can you, oh, say that can you lower your mask, please? Can you say that again? Pop it. P can you say it for me? P-O-P-E-T. Bovines. Bovines. B O V I N E S. So, students, don't forget say the word, spell it, say the word again. Pistons. Can you say the word in a sentence, please? Talia identified the moving pieces in the reciprocating engines as pistons. P I S C T A N C E pistons. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Angola. Um, can I have the oh, word oh, using? I'm sorry. Sentence? Part of speech, it's a geographical entry, and the definition is a country in southwestern Africa on the Atlantic coast south of the mouth of the Congo River. Angola. 
This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Brooding, part of speech, verb, definition, dwelling continuously or moodily on a subject. Brooding, B-R-U-T-I-N-G, brooding. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Geopolitics, part of speech, plural noun, definition, a study of the influence of such physical factors as geography, economics, demography, upon the politics and especially the foreign policy of a state. Geopolitics, G E O P O. L I T I C S geopolitics. Feisty F E I S T Y. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Serum, part of speech noun. Definition, a clear fluid containing antibodies that is obtained from the blood of an animal subjected to repeated sublethal doses of a microorganism. the word in a sentence? Balta was a Siberian husky famous for leading a team of sled dogs that rushed a serum to Nome, Alaska to combat a diphtheria outbreak. Serum, S-I-R-U-M? This word is, has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Embossed, part of speech, verb, definition, adorned as leather or metal with raised work. Um, could you say that in a sentence, please? The leather saddle was embossed with images of cactus roses. Embossed, E M B O S E D. Ordained. Ordained, O R D A I N D E D. Ordained. Unacknowledged. Unacknowledged. U N A C K N O W L E D G E D. Unacknowledged. Defunct. Defunct, D-E-F-U-N-K-E-D, defunct. Acrid, acrid. Uh, uh, could you meet a definition of the word? Unpleasantly or irritatingly sharp or strong to the taste or to the smell. A-C-R-I-D. Acrid. Retribution. Retribution. R E T R O B. 
U T I O N retribution. Churned, 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 C H U R N E D, churned. Reenactment. Uh, can you please repeat the word? Reenactment. R a uh, reenactment. R e a c t m e n t. Reenactment. Wow, spellers! That was incredible. That ends our first round, and we are so proud of each and every one of you to be here today and to be part of the Spelling Bee. So what we're going to do now is we are going to um, release those who had the ding, okay? But we're so proud of you, really, really. Every single one of you to be here today is an accomplishment. And I just got to put this shout out. I can tell some of you guys come to the book nook to read. Woo-hoo. Okay. All right. So can we have a round of applause for everybody? Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for participating. We really appreciate it. So those of you who had the little dingy ding, go ahead and stand up. And what we have is we do have your um, prizes and passes right over here, okay? So go ahead, head towards Mrs. Choi and Mrs. Montoya. Don't forget to leave your numbers on the chair. Okay, th hey, thank you. Can you guys tell them your number too, yeah? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the rest of you here, some reminders. Number one, make sure that they can hear you, right? So you cannot be afraid of the mic, okay? The mic is your friend, so you gotta come up close, right? And don't be afraid to move it, okay? Wee wee. look up here. Don't be afraid to move the mic. Some of you are tall, some of you are short, just move it, right? You are, you are in control of the situation and your ability to face the judges. You are the ones who can ask for definition. I think sometimes too, if you're not listening carefully, right? Is there an S at the end? Is there an ED at the end of the word? So you can ask her to put it in a sentence. Or repeat. Okay? Repeat it. And so, and that's why they're asking you to repeat the word, because if you say the word wrong, they will correct you. See, see what I'm saying, students? So right now, you have a lot of control of the situation. You can speak up, okay? If you're not sure what she said, pause and ask her to repeat it. Ask her to put it in a sentence. All right? OK. So but you have to do this before you start spelling. Once you start spelling, you have to continue yeah. spelling. OK. They can't start over. OK, so the thing about it is, once you start spelling, if you do pause, you, you cannot change the words or you cannot change the order of the words. The letters. Yeah. The letters, right? Okay. So that's why before you start, make sure you heard correctly. And that's why you can, you can, and you, if you're not sure, you can ask her, oh, can you please repeat it again? It's okay. If she has to read it, you know, two or three times, it's okay, right? And this thing, the mic too, you guys got to adjust it and you guys got to speak close to it. All righty? We're good? Mm -hmm. You guys ready? You guys doing a great job. Proud of you guys. OK, so let's go with row one again. Yeah, 
Exhilaration. Exhilaration. E X L E R A T I O N. Pioneered. Pioneered. P I O N E E R E D. Pioneered. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Tenets. Part of speech, plural noun. Definition, principles, dogmas, beliefs, or doctrines generally held to be true, especially ones held in common by members of an organization, group, movement, or profession. Tenets. It's tenets. 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 T E N E T S. Tenets. Subsidence. Um, can I have a definition, please? The act or process of sinking to the bottom or settling, a falling, lowering, or flattening out. Subsidence, S-U-B-S-I-D-A-N-C-E. Configuration. Can you give me the definition, please? Relative arrangement of parts. It's configuration, right? Configuration. Okay. Configuration. C O N F I G U R A T I O N. Provocation. Provocation. P R O V O C A T I O N. Pomad. Pomad. P O M A D E. Pomad. And students, remember to say the word, spell the word, and then say it again, okay? This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Crevices. Don't forget to lower your mask. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Part of speech, plural noun. Definition, narrow openings of some depth caused especially by a split or cleavage, narrow, recess-like slits, crevices. Crevices. C-R-E-V-I-C-E-S, crevices. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Dissolute. Part of speech, adjective, definition, unrestrained or lawless in conduct, dissolute. Can you use it in a sentence? The board voted to condemn the dissolute behavior of one of its members. Dissolute, D-I-S-A-L-U-T-E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Intubated, part of speech, verb, 
Definition, treated by the introduction of a tube into a hollow organ as the trachea or intestine to keep the latter open or to restore its openness if obstructed, intubated. Can you repeat the word, please? Intubated. Can you use it in a sentence? The patient had to be intubated to keep his airway open. Intubated? Intubated. Can you say that for me? Intubated. Intubated? Intubated. Intubated? I intubated. I N T O B A T E D. Seminary. Can you say that again, please? Seminary. Seminary. S E M I N I M I um A R Y. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Batten, part of speech, verb, definition, to fasten by or as if by means of a reinforcing strip. Batten. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? The crew will batten down the hatches if the waves grow higher. Uh, batten. B A T. T-E-N, Batten? Counterfeit. Can you repeat that, please? Counterfeit. Counterfeit. C-O-U-N-T-E-R-F-E-I-T. Counterfeit. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Inaudible. Definition, please. Incapable of being heard. Inaudible. I N A U D I B L E. Inaudible. Very good. That's how loudly and clearly we need to hear everybody. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Urchins, part of speech, plural noun. Definition, impudent or roguish youngsters. Urchins. Urchins. U R C H. I N S urchins conifers. Can you give the definition, please? Plants of, an or, plants of an order of chiefly evergreen trees and shrubs, conifers. Can you repeat the word, please? Conifers. Conifers. Am I saying it right? Yes. C-O-N-E-F-E-R-E-S. Vestments. Vestments. V E S T M E N T S. Vestments.
This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Emigrate, part of speech, verb, definition, to leave a place of abode as a country for life or residence elsewhere. Emigrate. Emigrate? Um, can you use it in a sentence, please? Ash's family decided to emigrate to America after a devastating earthquake destroyed their home. Emigrate. E M M I G R A T E. Emigrate. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Dane. Part of speech verb, definition, to descend to a less formal or dignified level. Dane. Can you use the word in a sentence? During the debate, the candidate said that she would not deign to respond to her opponent's ugly, baseless claims. Can you repeat it? Dane. Dane. D A I N. Dane. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Canid. Part of speech, noun. Definition, a member of a family of carnivorous mammals, including the dogs, wolves, jackals, foxes, and extinct related animals. Canid. Canid. C-A-N-N-I-D. Canid. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Lurid, part of speech, adjective. Definition, highly colored, extravagant, gaudy, sensational. Lurid. Lurid, L-U-R-I-D, lurid. Fumatorium. Fumatorium. Could I get the definition, please? An airtight compartment in which vapor may be generated to destroy fungal or insect pests. The word is in fumatorial? Fumatorium. Oh, fum fumatorial? Say it again. Fumatorial. Fumatorium. Fumatorium. I know. Can you see my the fumatorium? Fumatorium. F. F. U. M. I. T. O. R. I. U. M. Fumatorium. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Masa, part of speech, noun. Definition, a dough used in Mexican cuisine, as for tortillas and tamales, that is made from ground corn soaked in a lime and water solution. Masa. Can you repeat the word again, please? Masa. Masa, M-O-S-S-A. Starboard. Can you repeat the word? Starboard. Starboard. S T A R B O A R D. Maneuverable. Maneuverable. M A N E U V A R A B L E. Maneuverable. F 
Forsooth. Um, forsooth. F O R S O O T H. Forsooth. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Chemotherapy. This is part of speech noun. Definition, the administration of one or more cytotoxic drugs to destroy or inhibit the growth and division of malignant cells in the treatment of cancer. Chemotherapy. C-H. I-M-O-T-H-E-R-A-P-Y. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Azores. Can you use it in a sentence? Oh, I'm sorry. Part of speech, it's a geographical entry. So definition, islands of the North Atlantic constituting an autonomous region of Portugal. Azores. Azores. A-Z-O-R-E-S. Azores. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Pell-mell. Part of speech, adverb, definition, in mingled confusion or disorder. Pell-mell. Can you use it in a sentence? The Black Friday shoppers rushed pell-mell into the store. Pell-mell. P-E-L-M-E-L. Pell-mell. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Sanskrit, part of speech, noun, definition, an ancient Indic language that is the classical language of India and of Hinduism as described by the Indian grammarians. Sanskrit. Sanskrit. S-A-N-S-K-R-I-T. Sanskrit. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Blasphemous. Part of speech, adjective, definition, speaking or writing irreverence towards something considered sacred or held in high rego- regard. Blasphemous. Blasphemous. B L A S P H E M O U S. Blasphemous. And that concludes our second round. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Wow, you guys are just excellent spellers. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to ask those who um, were eliminated, can you please leave your placards with the numbers on your chair and go ahead, stand up, and you can go get your prize. Again, thank you so much. We really appreciate all of you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. All right, so now we're going to be moving on to our third round. Okay. So remember, spellers, remember to speak into the mic. And you guys are doing a great job of facing the judges. Excellent. Okay. And again, take your time, especially you know as we go into the um, next round, right? You have control of the situation by asking them to repeat it, put it in a sentence. Make sure that you say the word, spell it, and then say the word again. Okay.
telenovelas. Telenovelas. T E L E N O V E L E S. Telenovelas. Preter naturally. Preter naturally? Mm-hmm. Preter naturally. P R E T E R N A T U R A L L Y. Preternaturally. Leander. Um, can you repeat the word? Leander. Can I have the defini- definition? In Greek mythology, a youth who swims the, Hel- the Hellespont nightly to visit Hero and who ultimately drowns in one of the crossings. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Leander swam in the darkness by the light in Hero's tower and drowned one evening when the light was extinguished. Leander. L-E-A-N-D-E-R. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Mullioned. Part of speech, verb. Definition, furnished with slender, vertical, usually non-structural bars or piers, forming a division between the lights of windows, doors, or screens. Mullioned. Are there any other ways of pronouncing it? No other pronunciations. Okay, can I get in a sentence? All of the windows of the castle were mullioned into elegant diamond-shaped sections. Mullioned? Mullioned. Okay, mullioned. M-U-L-L-I-A-N-E-D. Zimbabwe. Okay, Zimbabwe. Z I M B A B W E. Architrave. Can you give me the definition of the word? The molded band, group of moldings, or other architectural member around a door or other opening, especially if rectangular in form. Can you repeat the word, please? Architrave. Architrave. A, C, R, C, H, R, A, V, E. Architrave. Paratas, paratas. Uh, can I have the definition? Unleavened Indian wheat breads that are usually fried on a griddle. Paratas. Paratas. P a r a t h a s. Paratas. Tilapia. Can you repeat that, please? Tilapia. Tilapia. T I L A P I A. Tilapia. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Roulette. Part of speech, noun. 
definition a gambling game in which players bet on which numbered red or black compartment of a revolving wheel a small ball spun in the opposite direction will come to rest in. Roulette. Roulette. R-O-U-L-E-T-T-E. Sack butts. Uh, can I have a definition, please? Medieval trombones. Is there any alternate um, pronunciation? No alternate pronunciations. Can I hear the word again? Sack butts. S-A-C-B-U-T-S. Sack butts. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Gales, part of speech, plural noun, definition, Celtic inhabitants of Ireland, Scotland, or the Isle of Man. Gales. Gales, G-A-I-L-S, Gales. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Hurdy-gurdy, part of speech, noun, definition, a stringed instrument resembling a necklace, lute, or viol that is played by turning a crank to make a wheel revolve against the strings and by fingering a row of keys positioned parallel to the strings. Hurdy-gurdy. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The hurdy-gurdy has three different kinds of strings. The drone strings, the melody strings, and the buzzing bridge. Hurdy-gurdy. H-I-R-D-E-G-I-R-D-E. Misericords. Misericords. Um, can you use that in a sentence? Winchester Cathedral in England has a large collection of intricately carved 14th century misericords. Um, misericords. M I S. S E R A C H O R D S Misericords. <laughs> this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Undine. Part of speech, noun, definition, a water nymph, an elemental spirit of the water. Undine. Undine. U N D E A N. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Vesuvian. Part of speech, adjective, definition, marked by uncertainty or sudden outbursts. Furious, Vesuvian. Vesuvian, V I S U V I E N, Vesuvian. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Urid, part of speech, noun, definition, 
a small seeded Indian pulse resembling the related mung bean and often cultivated as a small crop. Urid. Can you say it again? Urid. O U R I D. Urid. Sikhism. Sikhism. Um, definition. A monotheistic religion of India founded about 1500 and characterized by its allegiance to sacred scriptures. Sikhism. Sikhism. S. E E K I S M. I'm moving to two twelve. Okay, this word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Nares. Um, part of speech, plural noun. Definition, the openings of the nose or nasal cav cavity of a vertebrate. Nares. Can you repeat the word, please? Nares. N-A-R-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Nares. Wow. That's the end of round three. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Excellent. As you can tell, the words are getting more and more difficult. It's like, oh. Excellent. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. We're going to release those who were eliminated. So you may go ahead, leave your placard, and um, go to get your um, prize and your pass. Thank you very much. Okay. Should we just put them all in one row then? Okay. All right, so we have six people left. Um, again, remember to speak clearly into the microphone. Again, you can move this, ask for a definition, right? Ask for it to be put in a sentence, okay? So you, you can kind of control the situation, all right? Remember to say the word, spell it, and then say it again. Any questions? We ready? Eurythmics. 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 Say it again. Eurythmics. E U R H Y T H M I C S. Eurythmics. Really? No, it's right. I thought. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Caparisoned. Um, can you repeat the word, please? C 
caparisoned. Um, can I have the definition? Dressed richly, adorned. Caparisoned. Can you use it in a sentence? Albert loved the way the trees were caparisoned with white after the winter's first snow. Uh, ca caparisoned? Caparisoned. Say it. Ca Move your mask down. Say it. Caparisoned. 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 C A P A R I N E D. Lustrum. Could you give me the definition of the word? A period of five years. Lustrum. L U S T R U M. I'm moving to 217. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Doppelganger, part of speech, noun, definition, a living person who closely remember, resembles another living person. Doppelganger. Doppelganger. D-O-P-P-E-L-G-A-N-G-E-R, doppelganger. Arcturus. Uh, can you please tell the definition? Okay, pull your mask down. I can't. What did you ask? Uh, can you say the definition, please? A giant fixed star of the first magnitude that is the brightest star in the constellation Boötes. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? Can you use it in a sentence? The name, the name of Arcturus in Greek, derives from its relationship with the tail of the Ursa Major constellation, also known as the Great Bear, Arcturus. Uh, Arcturus. A-R-T-O-U-R-U-S. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Carillon, part of speech, noun. Definition, a set of fixed bells pitched in chromatic series of at least two octaves and sounded by hammers controlled by a keyboard, each bell being tuned to harmonize with the others. Carillon. May you please give um, a sentence with it? The Carillon, which was only introduced in the United States in 1922, is particularly well suited for playing Baroque music. Carillon, C A R A L A W N E D. Okay, so that's the end of round four. What we'll do is those remaining can go come back and stand in line, and those that were eliminated, you can stay and watch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have three remaining. Three, okay, ready? Okay, so we're gonna start round five, round five. <laughs> Take a deep breath, you guys got it. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Biryani, part of speech, noun, definition, an Indian dish of meat, fish, or vegetables cooked with rice flavored, especially with saffron or 
turmeric, biryani. Biryani. B I R Y A N I. Biryani. <laughs> This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Cirrhosis, part of speech noun, definition, widespread disruption of normal liver structure by fibrosis and the formation of regenerative nodules. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis, C-I-R-R-H-O-S-I-S. Kirpan. Uh, can I have the definition? The sacred dagger of the Sikhs. Kirpan. Can I have it used in a sentence? Although a kirpan might resemble a, a sword, it is actually an article of faith and is worn at all times close to the body. Uh, can I have the country of origin? This word passed from Sanskrit to Punjabi and Hindi. Uh, kirpan? Kirpan. K-I-R-P-A-N. Kirpan. Oh my goodness, you guys are awesome, wow. That was round five, and now we're moving on to round six. <laughs> okay, spellers, we have reached the portion of the competition where we are moving into a different section of the list. The words leading up to now were studied as part of the school spelling bee study list. The source for the remaining rounds will be Merriam-Webster unabridged. Although the next section of words might sound less difficult, you have not had the opportunity to study this list of words prior to today's competition. Okay. Judges, I'm starting with number 263. Extracted, 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 E X T R A C T E D, extracted. Irresponsible. Can you repeat the word? Irresponsible. Irresponsible. I R R E S P O N S I B L E. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Descent. Part of speech noun definition, an inclination downward, an inclined or sloping surface. Descent. Descent. D-E-S-C-E-N-T. Descent. <laughs> Ooh, you guys, we got brainiacs here. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, you guys. We are now moving on to... Um, round seven. Clarified. Clarified. Uh, may I have the definition, please? Made a liquid or something liquefied, made clear, pure, or pellucid. Freed from unwanted solid matter. Clarified. And can you use it in a sentence, please? Ashwini clarified the butter by melting it. 
letting the pot simmer, skimming the solids from the top, and then pouring the remaining liquid through cheesecloth. And there's no other definitions for it? No other de pronunciations, yeah. Oh. Clarified. I'm saying it right, right? Yes. Clarified. C L A R I F Y E D clarified. Tremendous. Tremendous. T R E M E N or M E N D O U S. Sermon. Can I have the definition? A religious discourse delivered in public, usually by a member of the clergy, as a part of a worship service. Um, can I have you use in a sentence? Juana found the minister's sermon unusually long, but also relevant and inspiring. Um, sermon? Sermon. S. E R M A N sermon. So that was that was the end of round seven, and we have one speller remaining. So does she have to spell it? So she needs to spell. If she day. misspells it, they all can. OK. Oh, no. If she misspells it, she gets another chance to spell another one? No. If she misspells, I think that it would be fine. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so we have one speller remaining. OK. Yep. So she spells another word correct? Yeah, she okay. needs to spell she needs to spell this word correctly. And we're going to 270. Instilled. 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 I N S T I L L E D. Do we need a do we need a second place? Okay. Do we need a second place? Yeah. Okay. So, so these two come back. Two um, Lisa, so do we, okay. So do we need to only um, put two in the English spelling bee? So if you choose to just you know, spell out the second and third one. Okay. Okay. So. Congratulations, Calista. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be moving to round nine. Nine. Okay, and this is for second and third to move on to um, the next round. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Encounter, part of speech verb, definition, to come upon face to face, to meet, encounter. Encounter, E-N-C-O-U-N-T-E-R, encounter. Appealed. Can I have the definition? Called upon or referred to another as a recognized authority for cor corroboration, vindication, or decision. Appealed. A P P E A 
L E D appealed. Okay, congratulations, you guys. We just finished round nine and we're going on to round 10. Bemusement, bemusement. Bemusement, B-E-M-U-S-E-M-E-N-T, bemusement. Neutrality. Not the definition. A condition of being uninvolved in contest or controversies between others or of refraining from taking part on either side of such contest or controversy. Neutrality. Neutrality. Right? Neutrality? Mm hmm. N E U T R A L. I T Y neutrality. <laughs> All righty, we are now moving on to round eleven. This word has a homonym or could be confused with another word. Immersion, part of speech, noun. Definition, instruction based on extensive exposure to surroundings or conditions that are native or pertinent to the object of study. Immersion. Can I have the origin? It's from Latin. This word is from Latin. What's, what's the word again? Immersion. Immersion. Yes. E M. E R S I O N immersion. Emblem. Can I have the definition? A device, symbol, design, or figure adopted and used as an identifying mark. Emblem. Country of origin. This word went from Greek to Latin before becoming English. Uh, can I have it used in a sentence? The emblem on the Mexican flag is based on the legend of the founding of Mexico City. Emblem. E M B L E M. Emblem. Does he need to spell one more word? I don't know. You guys are the judges. So we're good? Or you mean just him? Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Okay, so that was first, second, and third? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so congr- come, let's come. Yep, so first, Callista. Um, second is Jaden. And third is Haley. Excellent, excellent. Let's give them a round of applause.
job, you guys. Oh, my God. Some of those words, I don't know how you guys knew the spelling. <laughs> <laughs>